things I do outside the therapy room that make me a great therapist. I see my therapist on Mondays. I hear some people use other days of the week, but Monday is the best day. And if you don't see your therapist on Mondays, you're not gonna get everything you need out of therapy. I haven't drank in two years. I prefer prescription medications that a licensed psychiatrist has given to me. They're more expensive and therefore better than alcohol. I practice having lots of money, ideally through nepotism, so that I'm not starving for clients, so that I don't need clients in order to make ends meet. My passion is watching TV alone, and I do that, and that brings me happiness, which makes me a better therapist. I eat tons of sugar because sugar is tasty. Also, I'd like to mention serotonin is produced in the gut, and even though it has absolutely no relationship to the serotonin in the brain related to mood, since I don't understand neuroscience, I'm gonna say that that's relevant. I stay inside even though I live in Southern California where it's sunny 260 days of the year because I don't like the outdoors or people. So yeah, well, there's that. I wish I could say I meditate, but I don't. I watch science fiction TV shows that inspire me, uh, usually crappy ones because, well, it's basically like candy for my eyeballs. I particularly like trashy TV like DC's Arrowverse, which is just fantastic and doesn't make me use my uh, brain cells in order to uh, preserve them for when I do therapy work. I like to say that I cry myself to sleep every night, but it's more like two, three times a week. I'm also really humble, maybe the most humble person that I've ever met, if not the most humble in the whole world. And that's what makes me a great therapist.